quarterback play, I mean, Jake, Jake, he was a little rattled at the beginning, and you saw him get more comfortable as the scrimmage went on, which is good. It's the first time he's seen live pressure. And a lot of the new guys, you know, the first year's guys here for the Rhinos, they showed up and showed out. So we can take a lot from a lot to work on. Yeah, you know, not so much negative we take from this. We'll take as much positive as we can, but definitely find out what we need to work on today. So the things that went wrong are not necessarily negatives today. There are more things that you want to work on through practice and through stuff like that. Yeah, absolutely. Like, like me and you've been going back and forth about the book. That's kind of what we're labeling this season. So we're, we're still in the early stages of the book. You're still trying to figure out what everyone can bring to the table and, and what you want to find out, who your favorite guys are and stuff like that. So today's a, a step towards that direction, figuring out what you're going to work on, who you want to work with, and who, who's going to show up for you. A couple of players really stood out today. I mean, Tristan Simpkins had a really nice catch uh, when he absorbed a big hit there. Um, what do you think about that and, and his uh, potential role in this offense going forward? Uh, he, he was open a lot early as well, but that first 10 plays, yeah, Jake was a little bit rattled. Like I said, he hasn't seen pressure in practice yet. But And we had guys open all over the place. We just need more confidence all around, but Tristan looked good. His routes were great, and he had a few good catches for us. Um, John Curtis uh, with that big hit there in the safety uh, position. Uh, it seems like it's been a few years since we've had a hit maybe that that big. What uh, what does that kind of do for the team? Uh, it's great. I mean, John John brings a lot of knowledge, a lot of football IQ to the, the defensive secondary. I think him and Conley are going to be a great duo. I mean, they're more run support. But with their knowledge, both of them on the field at the same time, our, our, our defense is all going to be on the same page. So I'm excited to have John with us. Mm -hmm. um, seeing uh, Melvin and Roland today on the other side, uh, what was that like? It's fun. I mean, all, all these guys, I try to get scrimmages. I, we got the Ferris, we got some guys playing up there as well coming up. But it, it's fun. Like, these guys play pay to play, so they're both from this area. It, it sucks to see them both leave. I mean, they were both key starters for us last year. But yeah, I wish him the best of luck this season. Um, as kind of defensive coach, defensive captain out there, um, what uh, what are your thoughts on the defensive performance here today in this scrimmage? I was uh, overall, I was pleased. Um, just with our group effort, we were only able to travel about half of our team today, and we had a lot of guys have to step into new positions. But uh, someone's been studying the playbook because a lot of the guys knew what we were talking about. We were able to change the defense freely, pre-snap and you know. Uh, in the huddle, so. What were uh, some of the big positives that you could take away from the performance today defensively, and did anyone really stand out for you? Um, Conan Honkla, goal line, that uh, last read from Sam Linebacker, just knowing that, uh, you know, after you take your read steps and reading pass, he had a, you know, route to get underneath, and he got underneath of it quickly on that drop and was able to get that pick. Other than that, um, Saw a couple guys, uh, defensive backs, really show up and run support today that uh, quite impressed me. Had that big hit out there on uh, receiver Melvin uh, V-Lines. What was that like? Uh, take me through that play. Um, I see we were in a deep coverage. With, uh, I believe it was a deep cover too. So we were a man on there. So I seen the, the route coming across my face. So I tried to shoot it to get there before the ball got there. And um, I was a little late. But I got there when he got there. And he put his hands on the ball and I, I made contact, kind of just ran through him, kind of just happened. I, I was actually going for the ball, my initial, initial uh, play, but he just happened to be there, so I took him out of the play. It's been a while since we've seen a hit like that here with the uh, with the Rhinos. Um, what do you think a hit like that does for the team? Well, I know what it does for me, so hopefully it sends a message inside the team that we have to be physical, play fast, and run. run hard, play fast, hit hard as well.